Hello everybody, this is Alex Shore Prod Titan here, again with another review. I know, again, I'm doing a couple of reviews now a day or something like that, but like I'm doing two reviews today. I'm, again, I don't have that many reviews on my channel, might as well get a few up there. And I'm not receiving, expecting any parcels soon, like probably next week, but, and also still waiting for Safari to reveal their line. Basically, in the meantime, might as well get some more reviews in, okay? So today's review is on the Carnegie Albertosaurus. Now Albertosaurus, uh, which means Alberta lizard, was a genius of Tyrannosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period of Alberta, Canada. It lived along, it lived alongside uh, other, um, let's see, it lived alongside Troad, I think, I don't know what the theropods lived beside it, but I know it lived beside Pachyrhinosaurus, Styracosaurus, Hypacrosaurus, I think you Opocephalus, correct me if I'm wrong with that. And a couple others, which came out. And I gotta say, for this model, there's only two Albertosaurus figures I know of out there. This and Schleichs. And again, this pretty much crushes Schleichs. And Schleich did one back in the early days when they did their prehistoric line. Back in like the early 2000s. This one came out in 2003. It's relatively accurate. Uh, right proportioned feet, as you can see there. Like, they're not too big. They're not too sm small. Um, the teeth... Um, the only problem I have is the mouth sculpt. It's just the teeth don't look well painted. Like, you can't really tell the, like, the difference between the teeth. Like, it's all blended in compared to the, um, as you can see... Um, there are the teeth, I mean just, there are the teeth and there are the hair. It kind of looks, you really can't see much, like the paint kind of doesn't really make it clear where the teeth are and whatnot, because if you get a closer look, there's a bit of gray paint on the teeth. Like most of the other figures I have, like uh, the Sin Raptor, for example, which uh, we'll get back to that later, it at least has distinguished teeth. Maybe because it's also a bit brown, you know, it's a bit like, white on the bottom as well and I love this pose it's more of a naturalistic pose as well but also I think it also shares a bit of a pose like the Sin Raptor which I'm gonna bring that one here again which as you can see it's good once you can see they it's kind of like they flipped it but it's a lot better than the Albertosaurus I thought this thing was gonna be at the same size as the Sin Raptor but it was bigger I got mine off everything dinosaur because they, rec they recently got back a few new a few old Carnegie models. So basically, I got that and the Ankylosaurus, which I'll probably do a review on next. And the, whole, look, the tail here is not too long. See there, the arms are rightly proportioned. No pronation, I think. No pronation in that arm either. You got the underbelly. Again, a lot of people also complain about the color scheme of this. They could have been a bit better instead of Gray, light gray, yet white. I kind of agree, but it's a bit more naturalistic because we won't, we don't know what the actual color of a uh, Albertosaurus is. So I don't know if we would make it too colorful. We may look like a giant feathered dinosaur, like an Obi Raptor or something. But too bland. I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I actually quite. I don't mind the the color of it. I'm just again the. You see the head. I just don't, I think maybe they should have had a bit more color, especially on the head sculpt, where I can't distinguish the mouth with the, the head with the teeth. Like, they all look like it's just, it's lit, has a jagged upper lip. Yeah, my model, but, again. See, the head sculpt's really well done. Uh, so let me just focus. Sorry, I'm using an Android to, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry if my video is in bad quality. I'm using an Android to record this. Okay, there we go. It's a, wait, 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 wait. There we go. That's a lot better. The head sculpt's quite good. I even though it's missing these uh, the little horns on top, like the little tiny uh, crests, whatever those are. The neck, the detail, the bottom. There is no cloaca, I believe, but it would be about here, I think. I also got some luxury on the foot. I actually like the feet sculpt. Again, it's not like flat-footed or big flat foot clown-like feet, like... Like other com like other companies would do. Schleich! <laughs> Sorry about that. 
Papo! Oh, oh, sorry, I just keep yelling out. But again, not Papo, not really either, because again, they're trying to do better, but just. So again, if you actually not, if you actually um, want to try and get another species of Tyrannosaur besides Uteranus or T-Rex, or any of the, like, if you're wanting to get Albertosaurus, it's either this or the Schleifers, and I picked this, and I would recommend you pick this up. I got mine, everything time, so for roughly 20 Canadian dollars. And also, this is actually one of my few dinos few Canadian dinosaurs. Yes, I have. The only other one I know, the only other few I know I have are the Uoposcephalus and the, uh, as you can see there, the Pachyrhinosaurus and the uh, Uoposcephalus. It's focusing on well. Yeah. So I'm, I'll probably really get more Canadian dinosaurs soon. To at least make it, at least have a bit more. Because again, we do have a lot of dinosaurs here in Canada, even though I live in BC, not. Alberta. Again, I, so, okay, this has been my review on the uh, Carnegie Albertosaurus. My next review will probably be on the Carnegie Ankylosaurus. And then I'm still waiting for Safari to put out their, to reveal their figures, because I'm really excited to see that. And I will do a thoughts and opinions video on that. So look forward to that. This is Alex Sauropod Titan here. Signing off. I will see you later. Okay, bye.